The Power 40 podcast is an uplifting faith-based podcast that speaks to all that's going on in our world. Our goal is to share inspirational real life stories and experiences from notable guests around the country on matters that touch us all. And the number 40 symbolizes a period of testing, trial, or probation. And we all experience trying times in our lives, but it's what come from these times that make us who we are. So as we depict periods of people's lives where 40 has played out, we learn the goodness that comes from perseverance, determination, and belief. I'm your host, Danica Tramberg, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, uh, William. William, thanks so much for being on today. Thank you for having me. So you're the founder of Vanilla Feeds Tomorrow, a nonprofit that gives back to local food banks in East Tennessee. Um, And William, you started this organization at just 14 after seeing how desperate food banks were for donations on TV. I mean, that's just so incredible. And then you started selling this homemade vanilla extract um, inspired by your love for vanilla. Is that right? Yeah, you got it all. Um, (laughs) Yes, I make and sell homemade pure vanilla extract. And every penny that Vanilla Beats Tomorrow gets goes straight to Second Harvest. It's a local food bank in East Tennessee that distributes food to countless counties and many different food organizations within those counties. And it's just a great way to um, support those in need in East Tennessee. That's so cool. What inspired you to do this? Um, I grew up in an area where food insecurity was very as uh, kindergarten and first grade. People that would go to class and sit next to were hungry. They were they depended on the school system and local food pantries for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And a lot of these came from programs from local food pantries. And I was fortunate enough to have the luxury to go home to food. So when you have the ability to go home to food, you want everyone to be able to experience that too, right? Mm-hmm. So when I saw the need that was coming in every day and realized that there was a way to help, I wanted to give back and support in any way that I could. Um, now, when I was still in kindergarten and first grade, the only thing I could really do was donate um, my time and money. Right. So I would donate some of my local allowance to buy bananas uh, the food, some food pantries couldn't get fresh fruit and that was my favorite. So obviously mm. that's what I was going to donate. Yeah. Um, I would also volunteer at my grandma's soup kitchen and just try and help in any way that I could. That's really neat. That's special because I feel like there's so often that, you know, especially young kids growing up, they don't always see the needs of others. They're just very focused on what they have or don't have. Um, so it's so refreshing to see someone who was actually very concerned with other people besides themselves. Um, so you you started this whole thing by yourself. You created like bottles, labels, shipping, website, the recipe. How was that with juggling school and all of this? Um, so I actually was able during the pandemic was when I started and launched the Nell Beats Tomorrow. Um, it was during uh, the early stages of quarantine when we all got sent out of school and had a lot more time on our hands. When I was when I realized the true scale that COVID had on us, mm-hmm. not only was it impacting our health, but the f- effect it had on people's jobs. Someone yeah. who was completely financial, financial secure and never saw it coming was all of a sudden depending on the food banks and that infrastructure that was totally overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. So when I started watching the news again and I saw all this unfold in front of me, I mean, I was, I couldn't just stand by and let that happen, being in a position where I still had food and was still able to enjoy the same things I had before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. So seeing that really made me want to give back again in any way that I could. And I've always loved vanilla extract. It's something <laughs> that can bring up such a great level of flavor to your baked goods. Yeah. And one night I remember I was making my signature vanilla brownies and as I poured in the vanilla extract it occurred to me that I could sell vanilla extract to help those in need and from then on I started trying to find how I was going to bottle it ship it how to sell it and all the means that would be necessary to accomplish this wow that's awesome um so during the pandemic I felt like that was a great time for so many people to kind of step aside from the regular hustle and bustle in life and do some things that they are passionate about. Do you feel like starting it was hard during the pandemic? Like, were there limitations? Do you feel like it would have been easier outside of the pandemic or vice versa? 
Um, I personally, in reflection, I think it was better to have been able to start it during the pandemic. Not only was the need greatest at that point, and there was a greater desire for me to start it. I also had a lot more time on my hands. I still go to high school full time and I'm involved in a lot of things outside of school. So being away from all that really gave me the time to be able to focus and do everything correct. Um, when I was launching Penelope's tomorrow in May of 2020, I wanted to launch as quickly as possible because the need was growing by the day, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to have to go back and redo it or relaunch and have to recorrect previous mistakes. So having the extra time and less things to do made it possible to do things correct and do it the right way. And I think that it was overall an advantage in a way. Yeah, totally. I can see that for sure. And um, you mentioned once, I think, in an interview that you couldn't have done all of this without your family. What does your family mean to you and how have they sort of helped you along the way? Um, I'm incredibly grateful for my family and all the help they have done to help me get this off the ground and keep it running. Um, there are definitely been times where I've been overwhelmed and um, have definitely needed their assistance. Um, sales don't come in in a static line. It's always changing. There's peaks and there's valleys. Mm -hmm. And during some of those peaks of high volume, I have definitely needed their help to get orders out on time. And thankfully, they have willingly stepped and volunteered their time to help me, which was just a huge blessing. And um, my brother and sister, for example, they love helping me make boxes and delivery local um, orders in our neighborhood. My dad, he's great with numbers and accounting, and he helps me stay in line with the IRS. Um, my mom, she's great. Um, she helped me drive me to all the orders in our local area before I could drive, and that helps me maintain the website. Awesome. My grandma, she knows Facebook a lot better than I do, and mm -hmm. she's helped me maintain that and keep orders coming from there. So everyone has just been so incredibly supportive and helpful whenever I've needed it. And that has really been one of the huge takeaways I've had from this is how well supported, supportive I've been and how I've, mm -hmm. I'm just so grateful for all they've done. That's incredible. It's so good to see that giving back spirit throughout your whole family. And you've raised over, what, 170000 which has brought in like nearly 511 meals to people. You've been really, you know, a, a true reflection of what it means to give back and use your resources to help others. And you've really impacted your community. What, uh, what do these numbers mean to you when you see how much of an impact you've had? I am just incredibly thankful for how much the Lord has been able to use me and Melody's tomorrow to make change and positive change in the world. When I started, I had no idea how long I would even be able to stay open, let alone how much we would be able to donate and help the, to help those in need. Mm -hmm. So when I started, if I don't know how, I didn't know how it was going to go. Um, I would have been happy if we donated $10,000 and impacted just one person that kept them alive or mm -hmm. whatever. But to have made the difference that we have made, to be able to have donated over half a million meals to people in East Tennessee in need. I'm just so thankful for how much people from not even just in Tennessee, but from all over the country have come together and supported me through monetary donations, purchase of vanilla extract, and sharing the word to their friends and family to buy more. Um, all of that has been a group effort. It's not just me. It's everyone who has supported this whole project to help those in need. It's so the numbers you said, it's not a reflection of all the work I've done. It's mm -hmm. the reflection of all the, the generosity and kindness of so many people and just the um, the greatness of the Lord. That's amazing. I, I know you mentioned faith a few times in there too. And, um, you know, how do you feel like your faith has maybe impacted your life and kind of giving you the the sense and need to give back? Because I feel like that's something that's missing so often in this world is that faith. And that's why the world is so focused on self, self, self all the time. But um, you're obviously a true reflection of someone who's looking outside of themselves. And I feel like that correlates a lot with your faith. How has your faith, faith played a role in your life? Um, as a young kid, I was raised in Christian faith, going to Bible study and um, uh, church on Sundays. 
So I was taught to love your neighbors as thyself. And when you have the ability to give back, why should you not give back? Mm -hmm. I mean, we all have something that we're passionate about and that we would like to help. For me, that's stopping hunger and food insecurity. Um, Other people that could be recycling, it could be world peace, it could be a number of things. Mm -hmm. But we all have one thing that we are capable in some capacity and have the desire to help or prevent or stop. And when we have that ability, why should we not take action? So the role that faith has played in my life has really increased as I've seen how good people in the world are. Mm -hmm. People from all over the country have sent kind, encouraging letters and thanking me when I just don't really know what I'm doing. It's the Lord working through me and I'm just still blown away by how much he's been able to work through many people in my life. And I've seen it with my own eyes. So I'm just still incredibly thankful that all the things that have happened have happened. That's amazing. What, um, so what you've done so much so far, what do you feel is the future for vanilla feeds tomorrow or what are your goals or how do you envision it looking in the, in the days, months, years to come? When I started vanilla feeds tomorrow, I told myself that there would never be a set goal or aspiration to attain. The sole drive of vanilla feeds tomorrow would be to help as many people as possible and make the biggest impact possible in the community. So I've still maintained by that first rule. Um, there still is no set goal because once you attain that, where do you go next? You might lose your drive and stumble. So to keep always pushing, that's what I'm going to try and continue to do and try and continue to make the biggest difference that I can. It's a good way to look at it. And I think that's a good way to look at a lot of things in life is maybe not always setting that next goal, but just continuing each day to get better and better and um, and what you can do in those times in between to kind of set yourself up for success in the future. Well, as we close out today and just reflect on the power of 40 in our lives, maybe trials we're going through or have overcome, we understand that life will continue to experience good and bad. Um, and 40 also significant in regards to time. So Jesus spent 40 days fasting in the wilderness, being tempted by the devil. The great flood lasted 40 days and 40 nights and so on and so forth. But you, William, if you had just 40 minutes to impact the world, where would you start and what would you say? If I had 40 minutes to impact the world in whatever capacity I could, I would try and make the biggest impact in setting up greater infrastructure and improving infrastructure that exists to help the hungry not only in East Tennessee, but everywhere that I can. Mm-hmm. Um, and also sharing the word and getting more people involved with the whole effort as a whole. We all can play a part in this um, in all kinds of different ways. No matter if you, can, if you can't even donate, that's perfectly okay. Volunteering your hours and your time is also a great way to give back. Mm-hmm. That, that helps uh, food banks and other people not spend as much funds to labor when they can divert those funds to other places. Everyone can give back in some capacity and it all makes a difference. If you didn't make that difference, well, who will? Mm -hmm. I love that. That's so true. And I, and I love what you said earlier too, about like everyone has some sort of passion in life, something that feeds their soul. And if people could just tap into those things, imagine the ripple effect you could have on doing good in the world. Um, Well, you obviously have so many great things going for you. We are so excited to see Um, not only where your venture goes, but how you grow and continue to bless the world in amazing ways. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. I loved hearing about your resilience and drive to make a difference and especially at your age. So just keep up the great work. And for more information on the Power 40 podcast, visit powerofhumans.com. You can also stream on your preferred streaming service. And one more thing, where can people find uh, Vanilla Feeds tomorrow? If you would like to buy vanilla extracts, you can do so on my website, vanillafeedstomorrow.com. We ship to any of the 50 states, and for only $30, you can feed 42 people in need for an eight-ounce bottle of vanilla extracts. I think I might have to go buy some. That's amazing. (laughs) Well, thank you so much. It was great talking to you. 
For more on the Power 40 podcast, you can visit powerofhumans.com or stream on your preferred streaming service.